Math 6 Quarter 1 Week 8 Milk Base Let's learn about Problem Solving Involving Division of Decimal Numbers and Money Lesson 2 Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about problem solving involving division of decimal numbers and money. We are now in Lesson 2 of Week 8. For most essential learning competencies, solves routine and non-routine problems involving division of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers, including money, using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Again, one thing that you have to consider in solving routine and non-routine problems are the different steps in solving it. If you failed to solve it for the first time, don't worry. There is always a second time. Your life won't stop there if you fail to do most of it. And now, let's do learning task 1. Read and analyze the given problem. Answer the given questions in your notebook. Let us read and analyze the problem. Salima bought 6 t-shirts and 4 pairs of pants for 5,000 pesos. If the t-shirts cost, 250 pesos each, find the cost of each pair of pants. First, what is asked in the problem? Very good! The cost of each pair of pants. Second, what are the given facts? Very good! The given facts are 5,000 pesos, 6 t-shirts and 4 pairs of pants and 250 pesos. Third, what operation will be used? The operation to be used are addition, subtraction, and division. Fourth, what is the number sentence? The number sentence is 5,000 minus, open and close parenthesis, 60 shirts times 250 pesos. Divided by 4 pairs of pants. And fifth, what is the answer to the problem? Here is the solution. First, multiply 60 shirts times 250 pesos equals 1,500. Then subtract 5,000 pesos minus 1,500 equals 3,500 pesos. Next is, from 3,500 pesos, divide 4 pairs of pants. 3,500 divided by 4 equals 875 pesos. Each pair of pants costs 875 pesos. In solving routine and non-routine problems, follow the following steps. First, Understand and analyze the problem. Second, determine the given data or facts. Third, identify the operations to be used to solve the problem. Fourth, write the number sentence and solve. And fifth, check your answer. Review and look back if the answer satisfies the problem. Now let us proceed to learning task 2. Solve the following problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Mang Simon has 1,548 eggs to be delivered to the Sari Sari store. If the eggs are to be placed in small trays with 12 eggs each, 
how many trays will be needed? To get the answer, you have to divide 1,548 divided by 12 eggs equals 129. Therefore, Mang Simon will be needed 129 trays. Number 2. Mang Carlos has 10 and 5 tenths hectares of land. He wants to divide it into 1 and 5 tenths hectares each for his sons. How many sons does Mang Carlos have? To get the answer, divide 10 and 5 tenths hectares of land divided by 1 and 5 tenths hectares each for his sons. The answer is 7. Therefore, Mang Carlos have 7 sons. Number 3. Amy bought 9 and 8 tenths meters of Gina satin cloth. One fifth of the cloth was damaged by rats and the rest was used to make seven similar blouses. For letter A question, how much cloth did she use for each blouse? Let's answer first letter A. To know how much cloth did she use for each blouse, you have to subtract 9 and 8 tenths meters minus, open and close parentheses, 9 and 8 tenths meters divided by 5, divided by 7. First, divide 9 and 8 tenths meters divided by 5 or 1 fifth. The answer is 1 and 96 hundreds meters. Next is, subtract 9 and 8 tenths meters minus 1 and 96 hundreds meters equals 7 and 84 hundreds meters. And then divide by 7. 7 and 84 hundreds meters divided by 7 equals 1 and 12 hundreds. So the cloth used for each blouse is 1 and 12 hundreds meters. Letter B. If she sold each blouse for 178 pesos and 25 centavos, how much money would she receive in all? 178 pesos and 25 centavos, multiply it by 1 and 12 hundreds meters of Gina satin cloth equals 1,247 pesos and 15 centavos. So all in all, she received 1,247 pesos and 15 centavos for 7 blouses. For learning task 3, solve the following problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Every Sunday, JV carries water for fish vendors at 22 pesos and 50 centavos per pail. How many pails of water did he carry if he earned 382 pesos and 50 centavos on a Sunday? To get the answer, let's divide. 382 pesos and 50 centavos divided by 22 pesos and 50 centavos. The answer is 17. So therefore, he carried 17 pails of water. Number 2. Ray has 21 and 25 hundreds kilograms of coffee. He wants to put 25 hundreds kilograms of coffee per bag. How many bags does he need? To get the answer, let's divide 21 and 25 hundreds kilograms of coffee divided by 25 hundreds kilogram of coffee per bag equals 85. Therefore, he need 85 bags. Number 3. Gwen has four times as much money as her sister. If Gwen has 604 pesos and 80 centavos, how much money does her sister have? To get the answer, let's divide 604 pesos and 80 centavos divided by 4 times equals 151 pesos and 20 centavos. Therefore, her sister have 151 pesos and 20 centavos. Number 4. Joy is planning to buy a new cell phone 
worth 14,552 pesos and 75 centavos. She tries to save 582 pesos and 11 centavos a week from her allowance. How many weeks will it take her to save the amount enough to buy the cell phone? To get the answer, let's divide 14,552 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 582 pesos and 11 centavos a week from her allowance. The answer is 25. Therefore, it will take her 25 weeks to save the amount enough to buy the cell phone. And for number 5, Yesterday, Sally took a trip to visit some family. She covered a total of 135 and 7,500 smiles without making any stops along the way. And it took her exactly 1 and 2,500 hours to arrive at her destination. At what average speed did she arrive? To get the answer, divide 135 and 75 hundreds divided by 1 and 25 hundreds equals 108 and 6 tenths. Therefore, she arrived in the average speed of 108 and 6 tenths miles per hour. And for our last activity, learning task 4, identify the following word problems below as A, routine, B, non-routine, C, multi-step routine, D, multi-step non-routine. Write the letter in your notebook. Number 1. Jenny saves 107 pesos and 65 centavos a week. How long will it take her to save 1,614 pesos and 75 centavos? Is it letter A, routine, B, non-routine, C, multi-step routine, or D, multi-step non-routine? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. It is a routine problem. Just divide 1,614 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 107 pesos and 65 centavos. So we use only one operation which is division. That's why the answer is letter A, routine. Number 2. The product of two number is 132. If one factor is 6, what is the other factor? Letter A, routine, B, non-routine, C, multi-step routine, and D, multi-step non-routine. So to get the other factor, you have to divide 132 divided by 6 and you will get 22. So the answer is letter A, routine because we only use one operation which is division. Number 3. I am thinking of a number. Trice my number minus 4 equals 44. What is my number? To get her number, just add 44 plus 4 equals 48. Then, tries my number, that means 48 divided by 3. And the answer is 16. So, her number is 16. The answer is letter B, non-routine. Because we use two operations, which are division and addition. Number 4. There are 20 girls and 19 boys who will equally share the expenses for a bus trip that costs 4,504 pesos and 50 centavos. How much will each pay? So to get the answer, first, add 20 girls and 19 boys. All in all, they were 39 who shares the expenses for a bus trip that costs 4,504 pesos and 50 centavos. The question is, how much will each pay? To get the answer, divide 39 kids from 4,504 pesos and 50 centavos. And the answer is 115 pesos and 50 centavos each. They pay 115 pesos and 50 centavos each. So the answer is letter C. This is multi-step routine. It means 
this problem solving use two operations which is addition and division and for number five lay has a necklace eight and three tenths grams a ring six and five tenths grams a bracelet 10 grams and an earring 5 and 5 tenths grams if she sold this to an amount of 15,300 pesos how much does each gram cost you have to add 8.3 grams 6.5 grams 10 grams and 5.5 grams and then divide the answer from 15,300 to get the cost of each gram so the answer is letter C, multi-step routine, because we use two operations to solve the problem. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!